kind of this new organizational priority is to develop young players and everything. So what have you been able to develop individually uh, since uh, the new coaching this year? Uh, they've been harping on uh, defense a lot with our team and just knowing that um, mm -hmm. the team at the end of the day with the, the least goals uh, against will always be in the top. Uh, of the standing, so uh, I think that's one thing that I've worked on day in day out with them, and they've worked on with their team is just defense first, and then kind of letting your offensive ability take care of, it, uh, of itself. But I think they've done a great job. Uh, obviously, we have a, a great team, so and our goalies have been really hot. Mm -hmm. And you obviously played 46 games for the Rangers in your career, and you were even a power play threat at times with the, the shot you have from the, the circle. So. You obviously have ability that you've been in the NHL. Um, so, what do you think your game needs to improve upon the most to kind of get back up there? And obviously, like you're right there with some of the guys that are on the team right now. So, um, just staying consistent. I think that's the biggest thing with NHL players is you gotta uh, make sure that when you're having an off night, it's gonna be a B night and not a C or a D night. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think that's like one of the biggest things is uh, trying to bring your A game every night. But when you don't bring your A game, bring your B game. Um, and uh, just make sure that your, your defensive ability is, is very good, and that's most important, like I said, down here. So it's a, a good developmental league, and obviously you want to win down here because it looks better on all of us. Mm -hmm. And with the new coaching, is there any like uh, fo main focus that they've been trying to harp on? I know you mentioned defense before, but like structure-wise, like, what what has changed, I guess, from past years you've played here? Um, even though you have had games in the NHL, what is there a noticeable difference uh, this time around? Uh, you know, I think we're just taking it one weekend at a time and we have uh, little segments we want to win we have like 11 segments that we broke down the season we want to get four wins every segment so I think it's just taking one game at a time and uh, like you said the structure is so important um, and that, that defensive uh, ability in our team is just we can't harp on that enough it starts with our goalies they've been outstanding for us um, and if we just bring a decent amount of defense to help them we're going to be in a good position so um, like you said, structure is very important, and obviously if you work from the defensive zone first, we'll uh, get our offensive chances. And there's a lot of guys on this team that can score, so it's, uh, it's been good so far, but obviously we're not satisfied. We're going to keep going. Mm -hmm. And obviously, well, it might be the wrong word to call you a veteran because you've only played 46 games in the yeah. NHL, but you do have more experience than most of the guys who are playing down here. So have you been able to kind of be a leader on this team, and have you embraced that at all, that there's some guys who have never even stepped foot on uh, an NHL game? Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not a veteran in the NHL by any means yet. Uh, but like you said, I've, I've, I've been there and I've seen guys, I've uh, played with like Rick Nash and McDonough and uh, a bunch of older guys there that have been in the league for a long time. Um, and just watching them, you, you take some stuff away from them just to, to help bring when you come down here. But uh, there's a lot of good leaders on this team. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to be one of them, but obviously uh, we have our captain, Stephen Fogarty, right now that leads us in just the best way possible. He's a great A guy, uh, and he leads by example every single day. Whether he's on or off, he always brings the same effort. So um, I think he's doing great for our team, and like you said, I'm trying to be a leader as well and try to help guys uh, around the offensive zone, around the net front, just trying to um, maybe help shooting before and after, because I know that's a big part of what I do. So. Um, Whatever I can do to help is, uh, I guess, some tips, you know, for the younger guys. But for the most part, the, the younger guys have been great and the older guys are lean by example. I just have two more quick questions for you. So, obviously, Heedle got called up, Lindgren got called up. So, does that give you any extra motivation just knowing that at any moment, any day, that uh, someone could get called up, whether it's from an injury up top or just someone slips in play and, or you're just impressing down here? Do you, do you think that gives you a little bit of motivation and maybe some of the other guys as well? Yeah, uh, I think you got it. Most important is just staying in the present moment. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really think about what's going on up top or um, where you are. You just got to, you know, focus on your game and focus on winning. Because when you win with a team uh, like this, it's, it makes everyone look better. Um, so as far as my mentality, I'm just trying to stay focused and make sure I can be the best player I can day in day out for this team. And then whatever happens, happens. Because it is a business. Um, but. Phil and Lingo uh, getting called up is absolutely awesome. I know everyone is excited. Lingo's one of my best buddies, too, from back home. So um, seeing him score that first goal uh, two nights ago was just awesome. I know everyone's pretty ecstatic. But yeah, you obviously want to get called up. Uh, no one wants to not be in the NHL. So it's, it's just a, a long process, and you just got to take it day by day. Mm -hmm. And my last question is, when you were in the NHL, you obviously had the, the luxury and so did everyone on the Rangers of playing in front of Henrik Lundqvist at times. And now you're in the AHL playing in front of the AHL goalie of the month and Igor, and he obviously has been considered one of the, the big future pieces for the Rangers. Uh, 
throughout maybe the next decade is, is what a lot of people are saying. So what is it like just playing in front of that? Does it give you guys just this sort of ease knowing that your goalie's going to have your back? Obviously, it doesn't mean you should just lose all your structure, but just what has it been like playing in front of him and what, what do you think of his play so far? Yeah, uh, well, it starts with Lundqvist up top. Uh, he's obviously a role model for uh, the whole organization. He's been there forever, and he's just been a, a great face for the organization. He's a, a great A guy, and he works his works his nuts off <laughs> day in and day out. And he's uh, he brings the right mentality to the like the competitive mentality to the rink every day, whether it's practice or games. And it's more fun for guys that like to score as well, just because then it, it puts more pressure on you. And when he's on top of his game in practice, and if you're scoring, it's it feels good, you know, because. You know, that's one of the best goalies in the world. Um, and then coming down here and playing with uh, Igor and Huska, they're both unbelievable goalies, and they are the back ones of our team right now. Um, but they're, they're looking outstanding right now. And uh, if this just stays the way it is, they're going to be big-time goalies in the NHL. So uh, props to them, and obviously we got to help them out too because they can't just can't be relying on them day in and day out. But they've been awesome for our team. Mm -hmm.